The debate between vaping and cigarette smoking continues to be a contentious issue. Cigarettes, long established with their foul odor and well-documented health risks, stand against vapes, the newcomer emitting pleasant-smelling nicotine clouds yet with little research on their effects. While vapes have gained popularity, the crucial question remains, which is more detrimental to health? Firstly, smoking tobacco, specifically cigarettes, is examined. Tobacco, a member of the nightshade family alongside tomatoes and eggplants, contains nicotine, a neurotoxin that serves as a natural insecticide. Despite its poisonous nature, humans have historically consumed tobacco for medicinal, recreational and spiritual purposes. Indigenous peoples of the Americas utilized tobacco leaves for over 12,000 years in various rituals and ceremonies. When Europeans colonized the Americas, they adopted tobacco, initially using it as a stimulant, decongestant and painkiller, and eventually for recreational smoking. The harmful effects of smoking tobacco are well documented. Nicotine, while an effective stimulant and painkiller, is highly poisonous in large doses. Tobacco leaves, particularly those used in cigarettes, contain significant amounts of nicotine, leading to symptoms such as nausea, lightheadedness and severe anxiety, even death in extreme cases. Moreover, nicotine's addictive nature exacerbates its risks. Even quitting smoking does not eliminate exposure to nicotine, as products like nicotine gum and patches can still cause poisoning. Worse than nicotine alone are the numerous chemicals introduced during the cigarette curing process. Tobacco is dried and treated with chemicals to enhance the smoking experience, many of which are toxic. The American Lung Association notes that cigarettes contain around 600 chemicals, including ammonia, acetone, butane, and carbon monoxide, all of which pose significant health risks. Additionally, the combustion of these chemicals creates over 7,000 compounds, at least 69 of which are carcinogenic. These compounds increase the risk of various cancers, stroke, heart disease, osteoporosis, vision problems, and diabetes. Smoking also poses risks beyond the smoker, as secondhand smoke exposes others to harmful chemicals, increasing their risk of stroke and heart disease. Additionally, research suggests that third-hand smoke, carcinogens left on surfaces, can also be harmful. These dangers have prompted many to quit smoking and switch to vaping, believing it to be a cleaner and less addictive alternative. However, vaping, despite its modern appeal, carries its own risks. E-cigarettes invented in 2003 by pharmacist Hon Lick were intended as a safer alternative to smoking. Despite their initial promise, vapes have not proven to be a definitive solution for quitting smoking. Vapes operate by heating e-liquid, which typically contains nicotine, propylene glycol or vegetable glycerin, along with flavorings. Although seemingly less harmful than cigarette smoke, vaping still produces carcinogenic substances. The rapid rise of vaping in the 2010s led to the emergence of bootleg e-liquids, which were not always produced with safety in mind. In 2019, an outbreak of lung injuries linked to vaping, known as Ivali, e-cigarette or vaping-associated lung injury, was primarily attributed to vitamin E acetate, an additive in some e-liquids. While typically harmless in topical use, inhalation of vitamin E acetate can impair lung function. The ingredients in vape juice, while often found in food products, may pose risks when inhaled. For example, diacetyl, a common flavoring agent, has been linked to a condition known as popcorn lung, causing severe respiratory issues. Similarly, cinnamaldehyde, a natural component in cinnamon, can impair lung function when inhaled. The inconsistent production of e-liquids raises concerns about potential toxic combinations. Medical professionals generally advise against inhaling anything other than air, as many substances can paralyze lung cilia, essential for clearing harmful particles. While formaldehyde and other aldehydes in cigarettes are known to have this effect, similar risks exist with certain vape liquids. Ultimately, the question remains whether vaping is healthier than smoking cigarettes. Experts suggest that while vaping might be slightly less harmful due to lower nicotine content and fewer toxic chemicals, it is not a risk-free alternative. The potential health impacts of vaping are still not fully understood and future research may reveal more dangers. Claims that vaping aids smoking cessation are also debated. 
Many vapors continue to smoke cigarettes, and evidence supporting vaping as an effective quitting aid is limited. Concerns about secondhand vape exposure further complicate the issue, prompting calls for similar public restrictions as those for smoking. In conclusion, both smoking and vaping pose significant health risks. The safest approach, as recommended by the World Health Organization, is to avoid both tobacco products and e-cigarettes.